Welcome to Tax Bandits. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use our new EFTPS feature in our system. So once you log into your account, you're going to see this dashboard and you'll go to make payment under EFTPS here. Click get started now. And you're going to need to add your taxpayer information. If you already have a taxpayer in your account in your address book, you should be able to add them from that. Otherwise, you'll need to add them manually including name and EIN, address, and contact name, and contact information. Then click Save, and continue to choose forms. So now you'll need to choose which forms you want to make payments for. So I want to use 941 and 940 and make payments for those. Be sure to check all the ones that you want to make payments for, and click Continue to Authorize. Then you can certify that you're authorized to submit this request and that you authorize tax bandits to be your reporting agent through 8655 to make these payments on your behalf. So you can review all this and then at the bottom click to sign. You can just type your name and have it signed in one of the following styles or you can draw it into your title. Agree that this will be the electronic representation of your signature and adopt and sign. Then we will continue to add bank account. This account is what will be used to make payments directly to the IRS. So this is where your tax payments will come out of. So keep that in mind when you're adding this. We use Plaid for this, so click continue. Select your bank from this list, or if you don't see it, go ahead and enter it into the search bar and you'll find it. Then we'll continue to log in. And what's here is just an example of what this might look like. Just complete the whole sign-in process for your bank. And when you've finished, you'll get a success message and click continue. And then you'll see a summary of those bank details. If you need to edit anything, you can do that here and click continue to summary. And we'll see a full summary of everything. Again, you can edit those if you need and click submit for registration. Now you've successfully submitted your EFTPS registration to the IRS. This typically takes 24 to 48 hours to process, but you can still go ahead and schedule your payment right now. So we'll go ahead and click proceed to make payment. On this page, you'll need to select what kind of form you want to make payment for. We only checked 941 and 940, so those are the only available options here. Tax year, quarter, and then payment type, which has the code and then an explanation of that code. Then enter the federal tax amount which will be on the form and select a date to schedule the payment. Payments can only be scheduled a minimum of two business days in advance. So since it's Friday the 20th, the first day I can schedule it for is Tuesday the 24th, since there's a weekend. And we'll click continue. Then you'll need to select how you want to pay the tax bandit service fee for this, either 1% of the tax payment or 150 per year plus 299 per transaction. This will save you money in the long run if you plan to make a lot of payments through our system. If you plan to only make one or two transactions per year, you can choose this plan. So we'll click complete your order, acknowledge our credit card usage statement, and add or select a credit card. Once you've entered all those details, confirm that you have the authority to use that card and click pay. And that is it. You will be notified when your payment is debited and on this first page of the dashboard under manage taxpayer, You'll see status updates on the registration for EFTPS. Right now it's been submitted. It hasn't yet changed to registered. When it changes to registered, you'll see it here. And then under payment history, you can see a breakdown of all the payments that you've made and their status. Thank you for making Tax Bandits the number one e-file provider in the industry. If you have any further questions, you can contact our support team by phone number at 704-684-4751 or by email at support at taxbandits.com.